This is 4907 Todd Street, East Chicago, Indiana. This is a first floor unit. Three bedroom, one bath, first floor unit. This is the entrance mud room, three seasons room, whatever you want to call it. Three seasons room, no heat. So three seasons, you can utilize this for a lot of things. There's plugs, you could put your kid's desk, video games. If you want in the winter, keep this locked, keep that door open or open those windows for the heat. And you can put the kids video game stuff out here. And if they have an area for the school, like for their desk out here, because sometimes they got a homeschool, you know. This is the living room. This is a uh, 12 or 13 by 13 or 14 living room. You have an open concept area. You got hardwood floors, look how gorgeous they are. This is a nice place. First floor unit too. You got built-ins right there, which means that uh, you can put like your knickknacks and stuff or your remote controls. So if you put your entertainment center there, there's a plug there. You can put in all your remote stuff and everything there. Like I said, you can leave the kids out there, which is kind of cool. This would be bedroom number one. So let me zoom out. Bedroom number one is like a eight and a half by, by 12, eight and a half by 10. 12 long, 10, 12 long, eight and a half by side. You could fit full size bed if you needed to, but ideally, you know, for the kids, they shouldn't be having a full size bed, right? <laughs> Walk this way. Here's your official dining room, throw rug, table. You can put a nice six, eight person table, you know, very, very good looking here. So then you walk this way. This would be bedroom number two. It's eight by 10. So the other one is eight by 12. This one's eight, eight and a half by 10. The other one's eight, eight and a half by 12. This one's 10. So this one's a little bit smaller, but again, it's sufficient for a kid's room. You can fit twin size beds and a full size bed if you needed to. One dresser, you got a closet, officially. Nice hardwood floors go everywhere. Look how gorgeous this place looks. Jeez. Walk this way. And it does have like an open flowy flow. Right? Welcoming. And this is for the kitchen. 30 inch fridge there. Lots of cabinetry. Lots of stuff. Stove goes there. 27 inch stove. Like just that basically it's an average stove. So, this looks good. This looks real good. So, again, the hardwood floors run throughout everywhere except for the bathroom. This is an extra closet. You can utilize it how you want. There's a place to hang clothes, but there's also shelves. You can utilize it how you see, please. Maybe toiletries down here. An overstock from bedroom three, which would be the master. There you go. So here's the bedroom, sink. This is a nice tile floor. It's kind of cool, right? Mirror. Look at that. Woo, sassy. Come this way. You got the tile surround. So it's good. New tub. Tile surround. Looks nice. Fan works. I just didn't want to leave it on. Let me shoot it off. Oops, sorry. I just don't put it on because it's loud, you know? And then here is uh, bedroom number three. It's the same eight and a half. But this one's by by uh, 14, so it's longer. Actually, this one's probably a nine. Nine, maybe even nine and a half. So it's a little, like a foot wider. And then it got that same length, that 12 or 14-ish. So, same hardwood floors. Nice, good looking. Three bedroom, one bathroom, first floor unit with gorgeous finishes, a lot of cabinetry space. If the fridge and stove are the final deciding factor, let's get to the process first, we'll work it out. But until then, don't even bring it up. <laughs> we don't have someone just taking taking calls all day, you know? Got a lot of work to do. There's the back porch, second exit, go down, done.